For the first time since its mandatory introduction at the start of this year, the Halo was called into action, preventing what could have been an accident with tragic consequences. These exclusive shots show just how close Tarasuke Makino's head came to being hit by another driver's car during a Formula 2 race at Barcelona last weekend. Locking wheels caused Nare Fukuzumi's car to rise up and across Makino's cockpit, where the Halo protected him from being struck by a tyre. The Honda protege saying that the device probably saved his life. While fans have criticised the look of the Halo, no such criticisms have come from the racing elite at the top of the sport, who see it as a positive addition to F1. I believe the Halo should be there. Preventive medicine is considerably better than corrective medicine. Mike Spence, driving my car at Indianapolis in 1968, had the wheel come back and hit him in the head. A Halo would have deflected that wheel, almost certainly. So, for those who don't want the idea of having something that could potentially save the life of a driver, just one driver, never mind a half a dozen drivers, which it clearly should. And I think they should be in every racing car, an open wheel racing car. And you've got to move forward with the times. Regardless of whether it is right or wrong for F1, it looks like the Halo has proved its effectiveness and is here to stay. Has your view now changed on it? Make sure to join the debate at motorsport.com and autosport.com.